High above lower Manhattan with skyline views once reserved for bankers and lawyers, graffiti artist Michael Grimace lets loose with a can of spray paint. I've painted in a lot of unique places in New York and around the world, and this has got to be literally at the top of uh, uniqueness. Four World Trade Center is one of the newly finished buildings that rose from the ashes of 9-11. Today, the 69th floor is a colorful collaboration of street artists now working here for free. One of their biggest fans visits in a pinstripe suit in Pocket Square. Here we are putting graffiti back. It's all coming back. Billionaire developer Larry Silverstein took the lease here just two months before the 9-11 attacks and has overseen the rebuilding of Lower Manhattan. The newest residents are the modern titans, high-tech giants like Spotify, which leased 14 floors here. It seems as though you have a lot of young people here. All but me. Dr. Kenneth Oriel's high-tech healthcare research company, Syntactics, recently moved in. When you get a company like Spotify and you get young people, I think it makes it easier for us to recruit young, intelligent people that are at the start of their career. Silverstein not only accepts this new vibe, Keep going. Don't stop. He embraces it. So are the days of, of the World Trade Center being a buttoned-up financial hub with totally guys changed. in suits over? It's totally over. changed. Now 86, Silverstein watched the original Twin Towers go up and then come down. 16 years later, he sees a transformation from darkness to light and color. Kenneth Craig, CBS News, New York. Guys do some great work, huh? Remarkable. Yeah. Yeah.